pensions, planning, peerages, public sector pay, tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. The, the list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr. Speaker. It's empty words, broken promises, and absolutely no plan. Of all, of all the work, of all the weeks to say that, when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame. Will you apologise to Brianna Jai's family for the trans comments made yesterday in PMQs? Well, like everyone, I was completely shocked by Brianna's case. To have your child taken from you in such awful circumstances is almost impossible to come to terms with and for Brianna's mum to talk with such empathy and compassion about that I thought was inspiring and it showed the very best of humanity. I have nothing but the most heartfelt sympathy for her entire family and, and friends. You know, but to use that tragedy to detract from the very separate and clear point I was making about Keir Starmer's proven track record of multiple U-turns on major policies because he doesn't have a plan, I think is both sad and wrong, and it demonstrates the worst of politics. The father has demanded an apology from you, so will you honour that? If you look at what I said, I was very clear talking about Keir Starmer's proven track record of U-turns on major policies because he doesn't have a plan, a point only proven by today's reports that the Labour Party and Keir Starmer are apparently planning to reverse on their signature economic green spending policy. That just demonstrates the point I was making. He's someone who has just consistently changed his mind on a whole range of major things. And I think that is an absolutely legitimate thing to point out. And it demonstrates that he doesn't have a plan for the country.